The latest mass murder in America didn't involve guns. 53 people, including five children, were murdered by human traffickers because Joe Biden's open border policy is facilitating the multi-billion dollar business model of some of the most evil people on the planet. Human sex and drug trafficking are out of control because of Democrat governance. They have to be stopped. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Paid for by Ron Johnson for Senate, Inc. You might be wondering why we would play a political ad for the reelection campaign of Senator Ron Johnson, a right winger who wants to downplay gun violence and mass shootings in this country to essentially deflect and focus on other issues. Well, we're playing it because it was a political ad he was planning on using on radio very close to the time that the mass shooting took place in Highland Park, Illinois, where seven people were gunned down by a 22 year old lunatic. Now, we know about this because Ken Klippenstein over at The Intercept, friend of the show, Kenny Clips, does great reporting, check him out, was contacted by someone who was privy to what was going on behind the scenes with this ad. And we have the details. So. Ken Klippenstein obtained the following email correspondences from Cats Radio Group, which is one of the companies that produced Johnson's ill-timed campaign ad. In an email bearing the subject line, urgent, Ron Johnson orders, a vice president of sales at Cats Radio Group wrote, quote, they need the creative pulled ASAP. If you listen to the spot, it talks about mass shootings, which obviously is not good creative after the past weekend, especially in Chicago, end quote. A day later, on July 6th, a sales assistant at Cumulus Radio Station Group told colleagues in an email, quote, the rep for the Ron Johnson orders we entered yesterday is asking we pull the creative ASAP because of the nature of the message and how it's a little too close to the mass shooting events over the weekend. And of course, that shooting took place during a 4th of July parade in Highland Park, um, Illinois. So, uh, Jenk, it's, it's amazing to me because I, I'm actually shocked that Ron Johnson's team wanted to pull the ad. Yeah. There's I, a mass shooting like every day in this country. Some of them make news, others don't. It, yeah. yeah. So two things about that ad. One is it's very poor planning because uh, he's trying to uh, reference, of course, 50 uh, folks that died in that, uh, in that truck uh, that we had across the border. Uh, and they prepared it saying that's you know not gun violence in terms of the last mass deaths. But how could you not know that there was gonna be another gun massacre by the time you produced that? You'll never make a week in America without a massacre by guns. So that like when you're run, if somebody showed me that ad on a campaign, I'd be like, this is gonna take like two weeks to put together. There's no way we'll make it, there'll be a gun shooting well before that, there'll be two or three gun shootings before that, yeah, right? Yeah, hundred percent. So terrible planning. Um, and then the second thing is, if you actually listen to the ad, look at what he's doing. It's very subtle, but it's meant to. Well, maybe it's not that subtle. It's meant to appeal to the QAnon crazies, because it yep. takes a story that actually happened. Those immigrants did die, and it was terrible, right? And there should be accountability for it. And by the way, you could blame Biden's border issues, etc. That's within the normal, legitimate debate. I don't. Uh, really agree, but but that's okay, right? I, know, I definitely don't agree, and I'll get into that in a moment. But right, but he's not doing that. What he's doing extra on top is he randomly mentions sex trafficking, but that story had nothing to do with sex trafficking. And he talks about this, you know, people profiting off of a multi-billion-dollar uh, organization. What do you wait? What does that have to do with this story? It makes it seem like there's these elites who are profiting off of sex trafficking, that's right. and it's the Democrats that are allowing it, etc. And QAnon's eating that up, right? Because that's the Republican base now. Yeah, they love to provide red meat for the, the craziest elements of their party, of their of their base. And that's what he was doing there. So um, for those of you who might have missed that story, uh, it involved uh, human smugglers uh, who had smuggled in uh, around 100 migrants in the back of a truck 
that was not in any way refrigerated or air conditioned. They were not given water. In fact, the smugglers had covered the floor of the, the truck with chicken bouillon in order to mask the smell of bodies that would potentially, you know, bodies of dead people. Jesus. Right, because they knew that, yeah, they're gonna be in the back of this truck in the sweltering heat with no air conditioning, no water. The driver of that truck abandoned it later, and authorities found it. And I think the death toll, the last time I checked, was up to 57. 57 of those 100 people had died. And I do wanna just quickly address what Ron Johnson is saying about the tragedy in that story. It is tragic. It's tragic that. Under Republican pressure to essentially shut down our borders, shut down any legal means to seek asylum in this into, into the United States, people who are fleeing their own countries in desperation for safety are, are placed into the hands of these human smugglers who couldn't care about their lives at all, right? And so you're the problem, Ron Johnson, you're the problem. When you do away with legal means for migrants to get legal status into the United States, this is what happens. You don't wanna give them their day in court. You don't wanna give them an opportunity to make their case before a judge and to make an argument that Biden has an open border policy. Yeah, yeah, totally, that, that's how things work. When there's an open border, the first thing migrants do is hit up those smugglers who couldn't care less about their lives. No, so it's stupid. such a great point and it's so simple, but yet again, our media is such a failure. If it's an open border, why did they have to smuggle them in? That's it, we're done with it. But every Republican in the country believes it's an open they border. They do, they all believe it. Let's go to graphic five here. PolitiFact looked into this as well. PolitiFact fact checked an open border claim in December and found most people trying to cross the border were turned away. Because of Title 42, which was implemented under Trump and it continued under Biden. Although the administration exempted children who arrived alone and some families, not because the Biden administration wanted to, it's because a federal judge forced the Biden administration to make that exception. For so let's kids. be clear about that, for the kids. Otherwise, he would have agreed with Trump 100%. 100%. And by the way, did he get any credit for that? So he's following Trump's policy completely. And no, the right wing still says it's an open border. They well, oh, that's why people had to die getting smuggled in through an open border. And literally every Republican voter in the country believes it. Right. Because the Democrats are losers, can't make their case of their life about it. I mean, look at how easily we made the case. Why can't Biden do that? Why is he so incompetent? He's napping, homeboy's yeah. napping. Total utter incompetence. The media is so scared of the right wing, they'll never tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. They'll never say, hey, Ron Johnson, liar. Why are you calling it an open border in your ad when obviously they were getting smuggled in because it's not an open border? Why are you saying that Biden's policies are so different than Trump's when they're nearly identical? Progressives are mad at Biden because his immigration policies are nearly identical to Trump. Why don't you just actually say the truth for once in your life? But the press will no. never do that to a Republican politician because the Republican politicians are gods to them. And final thing that I have to mention because I got the number wrong and I wanna make sure you guys have the right information. 57 people did not die, the number is very close though. 53 of those migrants died in the back of that truck. So I wanted to clarify that. Finally, why is Ron Johnson so desperate to deflect from the very, real issue we have in this country with gun violence and the, the the terror that people are facing as a result of that. Well, Johnson has been a stalwart opponent of gun control throughout his career, having received about 1.2 million in both direct and indirect contributions from pro-gun groups since his first campaign in 2010. See, this is the difference between corporate media coverage and what you'll get from sources like the Intercept with amazing reporters like Ken Klippenstein. This is what matters. What's actually incentivizing what we're seeing among these disgusting, disgraceful politicians? It's always the money. It's always their self-interest and and their uh, never-ending uh, you know 
efforts to remain in power and accumulate money for themselves, enrich themselves. From March of 2020 to February of 2022, 1.7 million expulsions have been carried out under Title 42, with 1.2 million of them occurring under the Biden administration, according to the Migration Policy Institute report on government data. So I wanted to make sure you guys knew about that as well, as the right wing continues fear mongering about a so-called open border policy. Final thing that I'll add about this, you know, Ron Johnson is is just one of many Republicans who like uses the issue of human trafficking, sex trafficking as a deflection from our failed gun policies, right? Listen, I think that we should be worried about child sex trafficking and human trafficking. What are you going to do about it? What is your solution, Ron Johnson, or are you just using it in a campaign ad to deflect from gun violence? They don't care about any of these issues. They I mean, people are getting raped in our prisons every hour of every day. They don't care. They don't care. No. Women are getting raped all across the country, and these red states have a massive backlog of untested rape kits. Please spare me your faux concern about rape and child sex trafficking or any of that. You guys are the ones advocating for 10 year olds who have been raped and got impregnated through that rape to be forced to have their rapist body, uh, ba rapist baby. What are you talking about? You guys are terrorists, that's what they are. They terrorize all of us through their policies, through their lies, through validating the most violent people in the country. That's who Ron Johnson is, that's what the Republican Party is. Don't get it twisted. You know, we should do a trigger warning for Republicans whenever we're going to state facts. Like when we give the facts on immigration and, and guns, we should be like trigger warning that we're about to show you facts. I know you don't care about them and they, it'll really upset your feelings. So last things for me are mainstream media as always sucks. You should never write an article about Ron Johnson and, and his policies on guns without mentioning that he got a $1.2 million in bribes. How can you be a reporter and say that's not at all relevant? I'm not going to state it in the article because I don't think it's relevant that he got $1.2 million. Because he's such an angel. Because Ron Johnson is such an angel, he would never be affected by $1.2 million. No one believes that. Even the right wing doesn't believe that. The only people stupid enough to believe that are the reporters in Washington. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.